time to build. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is JD and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a PC build for fun. It's not a value to price to performance or anything like that. It's just kind of for fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's going to be a little bit of vlog style, a little bit of cinematics, a little bit of time lapse, and a little bit of montage. And we're going to have a reveal at the end. So maybe you'll learn something along the way. Maybe you'll have fun. So let's go in this process together and have a good time. All right. All right, so these are the parts I have over here. Kind of have something a little bit set up. There's no real particular order. I'm going to let you guys see what kind of tools I have on hand. Sorry, I just knocked into the mic. So right over here, I've got, whoops, I've got a magnet that kind of magnetizes my tools over here for my magnetic screwdriver and a flathead over here. Yeah, the flathead's a little rusty, I know. Uh, we got our magnetics part tray, which I still haven't removed the adhesive off of. I should probably do that. Um, I also have these two sets of pliers. One's a needle nose and one is a regular plier, I guess. Um, yeah, so these help. We also got this Fantex accessory box that came with my Entho Pro or Enthu Pro. Um, so that was really cool. That's probably really annoying. You hear that rattle around, but seriously, it comes so in handy when you have to organize all the screws that you got going on. So it's really nice to have. Those are all the parts I have on hand right now. Um, I have an anti-static mat that I'm standing on. Okay, so first we're gonna get out the motherboard and it's my first Z370 board, so this is gonna be pretty cool. Wi-Fi stuff over here, SLI bridge, I mean, manual, uh, SATA cables, extra screws, probably these are for M.2, NVMe drives. So this is nice, it's got a little foam backing on the back to protect the soldering points. Wow, it has been a, a while since I worked on a Intel board. Yeah, and you should also have a knife so you can slice things open. So we're gonna toss in the CPU right now. There we go. Okay, that can come flying out too. That's perfectly fine. That's seated down, so that's a good feeling. Let that catch on the screw. And that doesn't wanna go down. Okay, no, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It doesn't matter how many times you build a PC, it is still nerve wracking. Yeah, that's the right way, I mean. There's no other way to go in there, so that's what she said. He said. I don't know. Someone said it. Ooh, I get a cool little sticker from Intel. You know, that 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 sticker right there, that's that's quality. That's when you know you're getting a quality product. They include a sticker, you know you bought a good product. Alright, so I got this, the Super Loose Geel 3200 megahertz 16 gigabyte kit. And uh, this is gonna be interesting. I think that the memory timings are okay on this. Okay. Here, right, right in this page, it gives you a, a diagram of inserting the RAM, right? So if you ever get confused which two channels to populate with the RAM sticks, this is a great representation. Here we have a little just chart here and you have priority one and two. So priority is meaning which, if you only have two sticks, which two slots you're gonna use. There's priority one and priority two. So we have, uh, all the RAM slots listed as it is on the board, A1, A2, B1, B2. And for first priority, we have A2 and B2 here. And once you build enough PCs, you kind of just know that automatically, but it's always good to double check in the uh, manual. And it's really nice how they listed it out on the ASRock uh, manual. So I really do appreciate that, especially for new timers and beginners. So. Let's, uh, let's populate A2 and B2. Remember it was A1, A2, B1, B2. I don't know if you can really see that. A1, A2, B1, B2. So uh, yeah, now let's line up these notches. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to install the CPU cooler. Now you should probably install the CPU cooler first, but I just wanna see if we have clearance for the RAM sticks with the Dark Rock Pro 3 from Be Quiet because it is a massive cooler. And plus, I don't even know how to install this cooler to be perfectly honest with you. So let's open this up. I'm really excited for the Dark Rock Pro 4 to come out because that is going to be a uh, 
cooler with more clearance for RAM slots. So that's going to be really cool. <laughs> it's so astronomically large. Oh my lord. Okay. You can't even see. It covers up three of the RAM slots. That's ridiculous. That is... You're not even going to see the RAM. Oh, man. The way I installed it was completely unorthodox compared to what the manual had in mind. So I just came up with my own mounting um, solution based on some sort of video that I saw and then kind of changed it from what I, I saw from a video just to make it work. What I had to do was mount the little brackets to this first, flip it upside down, and then screw it into the brackets. That's essentially what it was, but it's a lot harder than it actually sounds. So we got it installed. It kind of covers the RAM slots, which is a little disappointing because I really wanted to see what these look like. Maybe later on down the road, I'll switch out the CPU cooler, but this is obviously a very beefy cooler and can do a lot of cooling. Let's uh, get down to the next part of this. And I believe we're going to actually install this into the case. The Sapphire RX 580, maybe not the coolest looking backplate, but it gets a little aggressive without getting overly aggressive, but keeps it minimalistic at the same time. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. And I'm wondering to myself, should I put fans up at the top, kind of add this RGB ambient glow? I'm still deciding, so I don't know. But I'm going to change the camera. We're going to switch over to scene two or three, whatever we're on. And now we're going to install these two silent wing fans to the front here. So we're going to go ahead and install these fans. I'll mention if there's anything unusual or exceptional about it. Uh, installing fans are usually pretty boring to me, so I uh, just kind of skip through that process. thing we have to go see if this thing's going to post so i'm going to flip on the power switch and we're going to see if this thing turns on here we go oh. Oh. are we gonna post are we gonna post we're gonna post oh Uh, that's what I'm talking about.
Okay, so major shout out to Be Quiet and pretty much for sending over the CPU cooler, the case, the fans, and the power supply. I just thought I should, you know, do a little bit more for them and provide this whole entire uh, build video as well as along with the other components that I thought fit this build pretty well. Of course, the CPU cooler filled up all the RAM slots, so the RGB RAM was kind of just flatlined by the sheer size of the cpu cooler but it's okay um we'll have builds in the future that will cater to all sorts of aesthetics and i'll probably reuse that ram to get it to its maximum rgb glorification showcase that it deserves so let me know if you guys want to see this style for future build videos if you like this kind of style or any sort of critique you want to offer i am all ears and also let me know what you think of those cinematics at the end it took a mind-numbingly long time to get it just the way I wanted it and it's still not the way I particularly want it but shooting it and then getting it all edited getting the color grading just right and the music to fit it properly that's also copyright free is a lot of work so if you guys can show your support and just like the video and if you're new here subscribe that will be much much appreciated and feel like it was well worth the effort it's always worth the effort but that just makes me feel a little bit better about it because i spent a long time on this video and if you're interested in seeing the parts list to this build minus the rx 580 you know that doesn't exist illuminati confirmed it's all in a kit on kit.com i have my own profile i just put all the parts in there and i have all the different kits for all the different builds that i've done they all go by the name that i titled the build for so i have shadow's edge aurora frost luminous rift and iron winter and all those guys up there also i have my studio kit i always get asked what kind of microphone i use and all that sort of stuff that's all in there and you guys should follow me on there if you want to know what kind of stuff that i use and that i recommend so i want to thank you guys for watching the video if you made it this far leave a winky face and i will heart your comment because i'm a hearty kind of guy I, I like the heart comments okay and uh thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one